Hi, I'm Angus Chris Gillespie, your host here on East Brunswick Television. We're going to talk about an upcoming event uh, the New Jersey Folk Festival. Mike, well, when is it going to take place? The New Jersey Folk Festival is going to be taking place on April 29th this year between the hours of 10 to 6 on the grounds of the Eagleton Institute on the Rutgers New Brunswick campus. And, and that's the, the Douglas campus? It is the Douglas campus okay. and it's going to be taking place rain or shine. And what can we expect? Oh wow, you could expect a lot at this year's Folk Festival. We have three main stages this year. We have the Skyland stage, which is our main stage. We have the Pineland stage, which is our more personal stage, and we have the Shore stage, which is our jamming stage. Sounds exciting. It is. Now, Shirley, I understand th the theme for 2017 is Turkish traditions. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about how Turkey will be spotlighted? So New Jersey is a home of really diverse communities and Turkey is one of them. So this year we decided to focus on Turkey and with the help of our um, sponsors and partners we identified dancers, craftsmen and musicians and this year we'll focus on a Turkish dance troupe from Patterson, the Whirling Dervish dance performance and in terms of crafts we feature the paper marbling called Urbu. We will feature um, Turkish calligraphy which people can write their names in Turkish if they want and it is an education um, event for all ages and f to promote a more humo harmonious society. That's very interesting. The abru, that's when you take a piece of paper, mm -hmm. you put it on a pan of water with yes. oil on the top, it comes out in a pattern, right? Yes. And the Turkish calligraphy, perhaps people can get their name rendered mm -hmm. in, in uh, calligraphy. Of course, yes. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Uh, Mike, I understand in addition to having the Turkish community represented, you also uh, going to have something with the Nanticoke Leni Lenape Indians? Yes, actually. Tell we us are. a little bit about that. All right, so the Leni Lenape Indians are going to be represented this year by the Reverend John Norwood and many, many members of his tribe. Um, they're going to be coming here to the New Jersey Folk Festival on Saturday, April 29th, and they're going to be doing a mini powwow, which is a religious social gathering where they're going to be in very fancy regalia and they're going to have a central drum and they're going to be doing a lot of very interesting things. But if you want to know more, you're going to have to check out our website at njfolkfest.org and come visit us on Festival Day. Yeah, I understand there's actually three state recognized tribes and mm -hmm. the Nanticoke Leni Lenape are one of them. Yep, they're the northernmost tribe. Okay. Um, well, I also, Shirley, I understand you, you have something, uh, a, a yurt or yes. a gare. Uh, can you tell us what, what that's all about? So that would be featured at our seminar tent. A yurt is a traditional um, kind of dome-shaped tent that's covered with felt skin, animal skin and felt. And um, it will feature panel discussions uh, facilitated by James Deutsch and will feature folklore of truckers, the New Jersey Folklore Society, and endangered languages. So these are panels that um, in, we want people to be engaged. We want them to be um, in discussions or debates or whatever. It's a really a place for everyone. What are James Deutsch's qualifications to uh, do this? Um, he is a professor at Rutgers, so he is very um, educated on this entire um, topic. Mike, what's your position with the uh, Folk Festival this year? Uh, I was on the staff for three years already. My first year was Gateway, my second one was Skylands, and now this year I felt like getting a more personal touch and going with the heritage area. With the heritage area, I work a lot more closely with artists that work with their hands. All right? I've been working very closely with Jackie Wood out of the Tuckerton Seaport, um, and we've been trying to find a lot of excellent Turkish artists, craftsmen to come with us to the New Jersey Folk Festival this year. Um, and if you want to find out more, you can go to our website at njfolkfest.org. Now, Shirley, what's your job this year? So this is my first year on staff, and I'll be the public relations coordinator. I schedule a lot of, my, of the interviews, like these, and I also uh, make press releases and help along any of the teams if they need help. Very interesting. So uh, do you have an opportunity to uh, move on with the Folk Festival? Of course. I'm, I, even though I've been on staff for such a short time, I kind of find... Um, that we became, our team became like a really big family. We kind of just goof around sometimes, but it's amazing to see how um, a group of like Rutgers students could just produce such a great festival for everyone. 
And Mike, uh, give us once again the basics. I would love to. All right, guys. So the, um, the New Jersey Folk Festival is going to be taking place on the last Saturday in April, which is going to be April 29th. It's going to be between the hours of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., rain or shine, so bring an umbrella just in case. We're going to be having a lot of excellent food vendors. We're going to be having a lot of crafters. It's also going to be a family event where we have a children's area. So bring your whole family, and we can't wait to see you there. Well, thank you guys for coming out and explaining the Folk Festival. All right. You're very welcome. You're welcome.